A dame with an Oscar, a diva who sings, these are just two of my favorite things. It's Watch What Happens Live with Julie Andrews and Adina Menzel now. <laughs> Welcome to Watch What Happens Live. I'm Andy Cohen in the Bravo Clubhouse on Thursday night. I am so excited. I feel a little lightheaded. I'm not kidding. She has won an Oscar. She's won Emmys. She's won Grammys. And she is the queen of Genovia. The book she co-wrote with her daughter, The Very Fairy Princess, Graduation Girl, which is the sixth in her New York Times number one best-selling series, is out now. It is living legend, the lovely Julie Andrews. <laughs> Still riding the wave of her unstoppable worldwide smash hit performance as Elsa in Disney's Frozen. She was nominated for another Tony this week for her highly anticipated and critically lauded review to return to Broadway in If Then at the Richard Rogers Theater. Now it is Tony winner Adina Menzel. Yeah. Um, I am nervous. Are you nervous, Adina yes, Menzel? I am. You are. This is so <laughs> silly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you two met ever before? Just now, yeah, but we bonded already. You did. I mean, how do we get to both web? Exactly. Black and white? I know, Channel. I yeah, we we just had that thing. Yeah. That's for yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, very good. Big week for you. You announced a, a return to Radio City. You were nominated for a Tony. Thanks. If this that is, is going crazy. Right. So congratulations. This, this is a highlight right here, though. No. Very good. Well, over at the bar, he plays Adina's main man in If Then. It is the handsome and talented James Snyder. Hey, James. <laughs> James Snyder, kind of cool for a Broadway guy to be here. Right, it's right? Uh, why I love to do what I do. <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> Drinking game alert. My guests won't know it, but anytime anyone says this word tonight, if you're 21 or over, take a spoonful of sugar to help your medicine go down. Um, we've got mountains of questions coming in for Julie and Adina, but before we get to those, here's what three things I'm obsessed with tonight. First, Julie Andrews has been one of the biggest stars on the planet for decades, and her career was just too huge to fit into our vault. So we needed something else. Here's what. It's time to open the magical bottomless Mary Poppins bag of wonder, everybody. Let's see what's in here. Julie Andrews, this is great. We had so much fun looking at old clips. Here you are singing the national anthem for King George VI when you were only 13 years old. Yeah. Incredible. And Danny Kaye is there somewhere. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now here you are as Cinderella in the live TV production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella in 1957. Black and white, my God. Watched, watched by over 100 million people. To, to, that was the biggest amount of people to, to that date that had ever tuned into a television. Incredible. Which had the, had the sweet thing to tell me just before I went on stage, oh which my. is not what you want to know. No. <laughs> Here you are yodeling with the real Maria von Trapp. Oh, next, next year will, is the 50th anniversary of The Sound of Music. Yes, it is. This is incredible. I mean, it's mind-boggling, actually, Andy. Here you are performing Bad with Carol Burnett in your 1989, <laughs> literally, this Michael Jackson song you're performing. Oh, that's fun. This is such a good <laughs> This is nuts. I love this. <laughs> is she so brave? Are you are you still good friends? Oh my God! You I are. heard from her just yesterday. Oh my God! Yeah, she just had a birthday, so. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Well, second, as Queen Elsa in Frozen, Adina plays the strongest female character we've seen in ages, and we think she has a lot in common with a few other strong female characters that we know and love on Bravo. Here's what: Did you know the Real Housewives have been singing "Let It Go" for years? Oh, no. Watch. <laughs> Let it go. 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 Let it
you think the song was going to be as big? No, not no. like a phenomenon. No, right. I mean I knew it's a great song and I knew it should be in a Disney it? movie um, at the Disney Animation Studios. Really? And, yeah, most oh. of it there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, but you know you have no idea. And you've seen all the parodies that have been cut of. I've seen right. most of them. Yeah. Wow. But, but you haven't seen anything until you've seen your own grandchild giving. <laughs> Her version of it for you, really <laughs> privately. Oh, let it go. Oh my God! That's <laughs> oh my God! Can your can your granddaughter sing? Uh, well, I have several granddaughters. Oh, you do? Yes, yeah, and they can, right. and they do. But yeah. um, <laughs> but this little one is only three years old, and to, it's a perfect. Perfect match to what you see on the movie. Yeah, so it's nice. it's very special. Yeah. Every day I wake up and someone sent me a uh, I'm sure. kind of video oh, of their child. Yeah, as, as though it's the first time anybody's yes. sending me that. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Must, <laughs> you must get so well, no, not fed up with it. Not fed up. No, I know it's it's a total gift, but it it's uh, it's it's, it's a gift that. It gives the keeps on giving. Yes. <laughs> Finally, we know that in the sound of music, Maria loves raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens, among other things. But here's what we're about to find out Julie Andrews' favorite things. Adina, I'm going to give you some pairs of things, and you have to guess which one is truly okay. Julie Andrews' favorite thing. Oh, I is just her, not that. Is her favorite sandwich boiled potato or <laughs> cucumber mayonnaise? Uh, cucumber mayonnaise? Boiled potato. Oh my God! There's. Oh my God! What boiled is a boiled potato? I know. In England, it's called a chip butty. But in fact, you can use uh, French fries. You can use boiled potatoes or even sliced big uh, ro uh, baked potatoes, but with butter and salt and pepper and in, in delicious. Good bread. Oh, sounds good. Ah, that's. I. I don't dare do it very often. Is her favorite cocktail an old fashioned with two twists of orange or an ice cold vodka martini? Shoot, the old fashioned's my favorite of these days, actually. But, and the martini? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Is her favorite animal a sloth or a panda? <laughs> a panda. It's a sloth. Why is it no, horrible? I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm thinking of writing a children's story about a sloth. Yeah. Because he has the longest arms in the world and can give you a double heart. Oh, and they are very cute. They're and they so, are. Yeah, they I are. Mean, they look as so though they're, I mean, they're. Filled with yes. mites and beetles right. and God knows what, yeah. but they are—they have this wonderful smile. Yeah. Uh, is your favorite guilty pleasure TV show Criminal Minds or Downton Abbey? Criminal Minds. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good for you. Is her, lastly, is her favorite musical My Fair Lady or Sweeney Todd? What? How did you wear the? Is her favorite her musical favorite My Fair Lady or Sweeney Todd? Were you in Sweeney Todd ever? Sweeney Todd? Yeah. Yes, Sweeney Todd. Wow, very good. That's I mean, to actually watch a, a show, it is such a joy. Yeah, it's yeah. an amazing show. It's a show. beautiful show to watch. Are yeah. you, do you, can, do you, have you watched yourself through the years? Is this something, are you one of those people that won't watch it at all? Or well, I don't appreciate? sort of, uh, I mean, if something cuts across my view on television, something like that. Like singing that. Michael Jackson bad. Right. <laughs> yes, now that, that's kind of fun to watch again yes. for all these years. But I don't pull them out and, and you know, run, yeah. run my favorite bits or anything like that. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Let's go to the phones for Julie Andrews and Adina Menzel. Call her, what's your name? You did and from good. Where are you calling? <laughs> you did okay. yeah, she did. Hi, Andy. It's hey. Mindy from Bowie, Maryland. Hey, Mindy, what's your question? My question is for the wonderful Julie Andrews. <laughs> I was wondering... Julie, what did you think of the new version of The Sound of Music that recently aired on TV? Well, to be honest, I had a lot of questions about that. Uh, because everybody was hoping I'd do something, you know, slander it or something. Yeah. But you know what? It's 50 years ago since that wonderful film was made. I think it was time that somebody else yes. had a crack at it, yeah. to be truthful. And that's really what I felt. How did you, what did you think of Carrie Underwood? I thought she was great. Yeah. She made it her own. Yep. But... Listen, it, it, acting is acting is acting, and, and everybody yeah. is open. That's all open to interpretation. Yes. Yeah. I have to ask about Adele Dazeem and just get it over with. Uh, <laughs> Who is that? Did you hear him say Adele Dazeem? Oh, yes. I. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yes, about, Julie. Oh, I do. Right? Yeah. Yes. I did. You did. You heard him say it. I and then how did you get yourself get together? Right this is what I did. I wore very special shoes so I could feel really tall but really grounded. So there were like platform heels that you couldn't see. Yes. Like this. I thought about that. I thought about a mantra that um, James is very kind of into that stuff too. So I was right. trying to focus. I thought I'm going to sing the song to my son and not worry about Julia Roberts and right. Meryl Streep and the world. What? Well, it's and, uh, no pressure. And right. I got right. out there and I said, and don't forget to breathe. And then he introduced me. And then for eight seconds, 
I felt very sorry for myself. And then, wow. and then I said, get my, I can't curse, right? No. Yeah, sure. Get my together. Yeah. This yeah. is your chance. Who cares? You know, and, and sing the damn song. And then I, I focused. But it did bother me for like eight seconds. It how, just threw me a little bit. How many times but a day? But now it's the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah, but right. now, of course. <laughs> yeah. How many times a day do you do people say, Adele Dazim, Adele Dazim? Not so much no. anymore. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't. But don't it's respond. a great story and will be for years to come. Yes. I know. So there and, you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love Julie Andrews. Let's take one more call before we go to break. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? <laughs> Hi, Andy. My name is Alicia, and I'm calling from Holt, Michigan. Hey there. What's your question? Um, my question is for Nina. What are your thoughts on the theories going around about Elsa being a lesbian? Oh, wow. <laughs> I haven't heard about that, actually. Really? Elsa's a lesbian? Why? Because she's been in the closet, and she's saying, let it go, and... I don't know. Um, well, you make I've, two compelling arguments right there. <laughs> Actually, I mean, you just came up with two. I mean, I, I, I don't know about that. I haven't thought about that. But I have thought about what a, what a wonderful message it is for, for people that might be um, struggling with their own sexual orientation and accepting who they are. And so it's not just a movie for little kids that's, you know, in that way. It's a much broader um, yeah. theme. And, and if, if, mm. if it celebrates and allows people to feel freer about who they are, then then I'm um, all game for that. Have they talked to you about Frozen 2 yet? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> keep your will. phone on. They will. Coming up, more with the iconic Julie Andrews and the amazing Adina Menzel. We'll be right back. <laughs> Next week, I can't wait. And Do Adele, Adele Dazim. Welcome back to Watch What Happens Live. I'm Andy Cohen in the Bravo Clubhouse. That's the last time I'm doing that. <laughs> um, please welcome Julie Andrews, everybody. She's right here. She's everything I dreamed she would be. And she has played a witch and a queen and everything in between. Now she's finally back on Broadway, nominated for another Tony for a role in If Then. It's Adina Menzel. Hi, Adina Menzel. Over at the bar, see him perform on stage with Adina in If If Then at the Richard Rogers Theater. Now it's James Snyder. Hey, James Snyder. Hey. Love you. Everybody, this is so super cute. It's Julie Andrews' new kids' book. It's the sixth in her series, and it's great, and I love it, and it's perfect for your kids and your nieces and your nephews and your grandkids, so get it. Anyone who's graduating. Absolutely. Yeah. Drinking game reminder, anytime anyone says this word, in honor of my guest, grab a frozen margarita and let it go down your Von Trapp. Okay. Um, you got a lot of questions wanting to know, do you have a favorite role of, that you've played over the years? Everyone has their own favorite Julie Andrews role. No, no, I don't, because no. everyone is so l wonderfully, you know, it brings me such a gift, and it's unique and, and, and lovely and fun, and the music's always so beautiful, and so, yeah. no, not really. Very good. Let's go to the phone. Actually, probably just being mum. Oh, that's Honestly, nice. Aw, isn't that sad? <laughs> Let's go to the phones for Julie Andrews and Adina Menzel. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. My name is Erica and I'm from Virginia. Hey, Erica, what's your question? Uh, my question is for Miss Andrews. It is such an honor to speak with you. I'm such a big fan. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, my question is, in a fist fight, who do you think would win? Mary Poppins or Maria Van Trapp? Ah, who would win in a fist fight? Oh, undoubtedly Poppins. I mean, Poppins. Yeah. <laughs> she packs a mean bunch. Right, yes. Yeah. Do not mess with yeah, her. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever see the color of her petticoats and the lining of her coats? You don't mess with her. She's got Great. a secret life going on there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, any talk of you appearing in the Wicked movie? <laughs> He has the mother of Alphabet. No. no. <laughs> Would you do Frozen on Broadway if they asked? I mean, I'm open to anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um, the Wicked movie, honestly, I I would die to to be in. Except, you know, I'm afraid Kristen and I might be. They've told us we're a little uh, a little over the age for that. But I think just like what was the movie Avatar with the blue yes. people? Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't it be beautiful if it was CGI and, and it was us, but just we were, you know, like a green face, take out all my little smile lines. <laughs> oh, please. I'd be, please. It would be amazing, and then I could do it. Back to the phones for Julie Andrews and Adina Menzel. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, it's Melanie Kaufman from Holstapel, Pennsylvania. Hey there. What's your question? Uh, I'd just like to say first that I'm a huge fan of Adina and Julia. Julia, you are like some of my greatest inspirations in life. Oh. But my question for Julia is, what were your thoughts on saving Mr. Banks? 
Oh. Oh. Uh, I thought it was great because I did actually get to meet um, uh, P.L. Travers, who wrote Mary Poppins. Yes. And Saving Mr. Banks is about that lady. And uh, she was a one tough lady. I thought Emma Thompson did the most phenomenal job portraying her. And I actually, I, I had to see the movie a couple of times to, um, because the Disney Corporation who made it asked if I would, would come on board and do uh -huh. a few things. And I was happy to. And uh, the more I saw it, the more I really loved it. I loved Colin Farrell. I loved Tom Hanks. Yeah. What's not to love? You know? What was Walt Disney like? Uh, wonderful. Um, kind of twinkly. He had a, a, a wicked twinkle in his eye. He was a very, very kind man with an incredible flair for spotting talent when it was before it was ever really uh, famous. He did it for Haley Mills. He did it for, uh, oh gosh, now I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering right, all the people. Right, but a whole galaxy. But, yeah, and me included. And he, yeah. he gave me my, it was my first movie ever. So. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Walt Disney, yes. for finding this lady. Thank you, Mr. Disney. Um, game time, everybody. When the cat has got your tongue, there's no need for dismay. Just summon up this word, and then you've got a lot to say. You know the word I'm talking about, and we can all say it, but can we spell it? We're going to play supercalifragilisticexpialis spell this. Um, we're going to take turns trying to spell Mary Poppins' most magical word, and whichever one of us gets the furthest through it wins. Okay, so Adina, you go first. <clears throat> S-U-P-E-R. C-A-L-I. F R A G I L I Angelistic S T I C X P E X P uh, what? Are you helping me? Ali? It's X P Ali Docious. What's X P Ali? Oh, uh, the. Yeah. the <laughs> uh, Adina, X X P E X P E D. I L. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Was I oh god, now I have to do this? Okay. S U P E R C A L I F R A G A L. Okay, Miss Andrews, can you give it a try? Well, you know what? I've tried before and I know I can't. Okay. But I can say it backwards. You can say it backwards? Yeah. Give it to us. Dosha Sally, Expiistic, Fragicali Rupus. Give it up for Julie Andrews! Thanks for playing, everybody! I actually don't know how to spell it. Isn't that terrible? That's hilarious. I might get but it right, but I don't think I will. For your pleasure, oh. we have this gorgeous mazel robe for both of you. Thank you! Available at shopbybravo.com. <laughs> Coming up more with this dreamy duo, plus my mazel of the day. Super <laughs> It's a good dress. I wish it would f***ing get here. New York City has not had f***ing springtime. I believe that that groundhog has been seen 52,000 times. He's seen that shadow. Get on with it. She needs a powder puff. She looks like a greasy drag queen. Some people call it dewy. I call it sweat. Out of your face, bitch. Even lesbians hate pine cones. What happens live, everybody? It's Andy on Thursday night, living every sensitive gay man's wildest fantasy. As Mary Poppins, she was practically perfect in every way, and as herself, she is positively perfect. It's Julie Andrews, everybody. And if you've never seen her on Broadway, I feel sad for you. Now is your chance, freshly nominated for a Tony. It's the star of If Then, Adina Menzel. It's Adina's If Then co star, James Snyder. Hi, James. Let's go back to the phones for these two. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? My name is Quentin and I'm from Washington, D.C. Hey, Quentin, what's your question? My question is for Indina. What's, the, what's been your weirdest fan encounter since this uh, Frozen phenomenon? Um, um, no, there All has good. been. Yeah. yeah. Don't Maybe mean it's you. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't. There hasn't been one yet. I don't know. I'm so Very good. boring. I don't good. Want to be boring. You have something to look forward to. Yeah. The night is young. 
<laughs> you haven't been outside our building yet. Um, on that note, it's time yes. for my Mazel of the day. Almost every day since Frozen first came out, there's been a new fan cover video of one of the songs that has blown up and gone viral. But I have to give the Mazel to my personal favorite. With over a million hits so far, it's Francesca singing, Do You Want to Build a Snowman While Her Mom Removes a Splinter? Watch. Aww. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> I <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, that's, that's I amazing. Been, I, I've been there. Yes, yes. I've been there. Today's so jackal goes to. Had you seen that? I had never seen that. Oh, oh my that's God, that's good. Horrible. Okay. Today's oh. jackal goes to this idiot for trying to do something only Mary Poppins could do. What? <clears throat> Oh no! He's oh dead. no! Oh, oh, idiot! <laughs> idiot with an umbrella. I mean, can you? Yeah, well, he should have hung on to it. Yes. That's the thing. Yes, he should have hung on to it. Julie Andrews says, even with two umbrellas, you couldn't do it because you are not a magical nanny from the sky, you fool. It takes, um, it takes a lot of practice. It does. Yes. Everybody, check out the very fairy princess graduation girl. It's a super cute uh, new book from Julie Andrews and her daughter. Available now. Perfect for graduation time. See Adina's Tony. Nominated performance in If Then with James. The word of the night was go, and we said it 32 times. Oh my gosh, people at home have been playing that drinking game. You've just been drinking tea, Miss Julianne. Well, but people you gave home, it to me. I'm thrilled. I know, that's good. Um, I want to thank you so much. Uh, you, if man. you have been playing the drinking game, don't drink and drive. See you Sunday night, everybody. Have a great weekend.